Hi, this is Debbie from Zingtree, and I'm going to show you how to create a simple decision tree troubleshooter using the overview tool. To get started, you want to be in the My Trees area, and you're just going to click Create New Tree. Here you're asked how you would like to start creating this tree, and for the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to be using the overview tool, so choose Blank Starter Tree. So before we jump into building the tree, the first thing we need to do is give it give our tree a name. Let's just call it TV Power Troubleshooter. We have an option to display our tree as either buttons or panels. Buttons look like this, which is great for short yes-no answers. And panels look like this, which is great for a little bit longer answers. It's completely up to you. Choose the style that works best for your needs. You have an option to give a description for your tree. This is not public facing, it's just notes for yourself. And let's go ahead and click Create Tree. And this is going to take us right into the Zinc Tree Overview Tool. Okay, so every tree starts with one blank root node. And so this one has been left here for us. Of course, we still need to edit it. And let's go over what you see in this view here. So we have the, the title and tree ID. Uh, we have an option to list all of our nodes showing uh, the questions in the node or the page titles. Let's leave it on questions for now. When there's a little home icon right here, that means that this is your root node, which is your first node in the tree. And here are different actions that you can take with this node. If you hover over each one, you get a description. So this is going to be the one you're going to use the most, which is where you're going to edit the node. So let's edit this first node. This is the very first node in the tree, so let's just title this one Welcome. So we're giving it a title here, Welcome. And we'll put some content in here. And we're going to be asking, um, and we're going to eventually be asking them in the question area to try the power button. So welcome to the TV troubleshooter. Let's try the power button. Let's add an image in here uh, just to make it super easy. And so you can drag and drop an image right into the editor, or you can copy and paste an image into the editor, or you can use this insert image, either one you like. I'm just going to drag and drop an image in here. I'm going to size this, make it a little bit smaller. There we go. And so we're going to ask a question here. Uh, <clears throat> does the TV power on with the button? All right? And we're going to have to add some buttons here, some action buttons. So let's add one for yes. We'll add one for no. And over here is where you can hook these up to nodes that you've already created. Uh, since we haven't created any yet, we're going to just leave these as, as is and we'll hook them up later. And we're going to click Save Changes. Okay, so now you can see that our first node uh, now has two buttons in it, a yes and a no. And we can tell that they're not hooked up to anything yet because they are red in color. You'll find that very helpful as you go forward. Be easy to see uh, where your tree may not be completed yet. All right, so now we need a node for when the TV does power on. So we have success. So we can add a node for that. These are the different types of nodes that you can add. Most of the time you're gonna be using a content node. Sometimes you will use a tree node. This can be very helpful if you are wanting to link one tree to another so that you're not duplicating content. And there are other nodes as well, logic nodes, a link redirect, an email node so that your tree can send out an email, and your tree can generate a document as well. We're going to use this content node. I'm going to add that right here. And so the content of this node needs to be filled in. And so this is if we the we had success. So we're going to just call this success. And congratulations. Looks like you're all set. Now let's put another image in here just to make it fun. 
let's just drop that guy in there make that a little bit smaller and we don't have another question so we're just going to save our changes so that's great so now what we want to do is we want to link this yes button to success to do that you can simply just click on that yes button we want to link that to the success node link to node see that's now turned blue All right so now we need to add a node for if the TV did not turn on with the button so another way that you can add a node for the success node, we showed you how to do it by clicking the Add Node button and choosing a node. There's another way you can do it. We know that this No button is not hooked up to anything, and we want to hook that up to a new node that asks another question. So we can just click that No button, link this button to a new node, add new node, and link. Takes us here, add a new node. Okay, so now what we're checking is if the TV is plugged in. So we're going to call this, check the plug, and let's make it, uh, let's see, is the TV properly plugged into the outlet? And let's Again, make it super easy. This is what it looks like when your TV is plugged into the outlet. And we're going to ask a question. Does the TV power on now? And we need some buttons here. Logical answers would be yes. No. And we're going to save changes. Okay, so if the TV does power on after checking the plug, then that's success. So we can link that right back to node number two. We don't need to create a new node for that. It's going to be the same content. So we can click this, and we want this to link to our success node. Link to node. There we go. So now we need another node instructing the user what to do if the TV does not power on now. So we'll add another node, another content node. And here we're going to be asking the user to send the TV in for repair or replacement. So in this particular case, we're gonna, we're gonna call this failure. And uh, we're gonna put in here instructions for sending the TV in for repair or replacement. Of course you can have lots more content in here. And let's see, keeping with our image theme here, we'll drop in a little image. And we'll save changes. And now we want to link this to our failure node. And you can do that, as we said, by clicking the No button and changing it there. Or you can go into the editor. And you can hook it up right here. So here's our No button. I'm going to connect that to number four, go to failure, and save changes. OK, so I think our little demonstration tree is completed here. So you'll notice some things here in overview. You notice that all of our buttons are linked up none of them are red and we have a couple different ways that we can view this but first let's look at what our tree actually looks like so if you go up here to the tools menu and you click preview I'll give you a preview of your tree so here's our tree let's try the power button does the TV power on with the button yes congratulations you're all set now let's go back Let's say, no, it does not power on with the button. The TV properly plugged into the outlet. Does it power on now? Yes. Our same success node. Does TV power on? No. Instructions for sending the TV in for repair. Okay, let's go back to overview and look at a couple of things we have here. 
So you can easily see from overview the type of node that you have in each one. It's a content node. You can see that does the TV power on with the button? Yes, with an arrow two, which means it goes to, to node number two. Does it power on with the button? No, three, it goes to node number three. If you, for any reason you wanna drag these around and reorder them, you can do that. It will not affect how your tree operates in any way. Just maybe sometimes uh, you might have things in a different order and you wanna reorder them uh, for organization purposes. There's another way that you can view this. You can go to thumbnails view and that gives you an overview of what all of your nodes look like. So you can view this any way you want. Simple view or thumbnails view. Always know you can come back into overview mode even if you chose to build your tree using the visual designer or the wizard. This is a great place to just do some editing and really see all of the options available to you. In the tools menu here, you see that this is, these are the tools for this particular tree to preview your tree, to be able to get into the visual designer, take it from there, the wizard, uh, and your publishing links. And that's our decision tree troubleshooter using the overview tool in Zingtree.